Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In this video, we are going to start off with one more new tutorial that is Spring Framework and even we are going to discuss Spring Boot also. Once we complete this Spring Framework, we'll be even going with Spring Boot. The prerequisite to enter into Spring Boot is we should have a minimum basic knowledge on Spring Framework. And to enter into Spring Framework, the prerequisite is, let me make a note of this, So prerequisites to learn this course is the first thing you require is code java to understand this spring framework the course what we are learning is for your spring framework initially we'll discuss on spring framework in order to enter into this spring framework the prerequisites is you should have a minimum knowledge on code java like object oriented exception handling strings concept multi-threading collections collections are very very important okay i have a package some basic idea idea on i have a package then even we should have idea on sql concepts or you can even say database concepts database concepts like we should have some basic idea on ddl commands dml commands dql commands tcl commands like this so at least minimum one database if you are having that's well and good like mysql or oracle right then, and one more thing we require one more prerequisite pre like advanced java advanced java where we should have idea on servlets uh, we can have idea on jdbc and even jsp so if you are having idea on these concepts like core java database concepts advanced java like jdbc servlets and jsp entering into spring framework will be easy for us now the course content what we are going to discuss in this spring framework is spring framework course content first initially we'll go with spring introduction we'll go with the spring introduction the need of going with spring what type of applications we can develop with Spring. Then we'll discuss about need of Spring Framework. What is the main need of going with Spring Framework? And in this Spring, we'll be discussing some of the very, very important modules and the minimum module what you require, the minimum module what you require to understand even Spring Boot also or to understand any other Spring modules, the minimum knowledge we should have like Spring Core module. This is the main base module for us. So if you are good with this Spring Core module and understanding remaining modules of Spring will be easy for us. In this Spring Core module, we'll be learning about IOC container, the meaning of IOC container. Then one more very, very important one, dependency injection. We'll be learning about dependency injection. In this, we'll be going with uh, setter injection the way to do setter injection and constructor injection. We'll be going with setter and constructor injection. Then even we discuss about bean inheritance, bean inheritance and collection merging. So the meaning of collection is how to inject a list, how to inject a set, like how to inject a map. So that injections will be learning in this collection merging. Then We'll be going with bean references. Bean reference. Then we'll discuss about factory methods. Factory methods like we are having static factoring and instance factory. Then, then we'll go with one more like bean scopes. Bean scopes. Then bean wiring bean wiring so how to do this bean wiring manually we'll even learn manual wiring manual wiring and even we discuss auto wiring very very important nowadays we are using more of auto wiring so this core module is very important if you are good with these all terminologies we can easily understand the remaining modules very easily 
will be understanding about bean life cycle bean life cycle and we'll be learning some of the important spring core annotations we'll be learning some of the important spring core annotations now once we complete this core module we even go with one more important module spring aop model aop model what is this aop stands for is aspect oriented aspect oriented programming so the main need of going with this aop module is like to separate business logic with cross cutting logics so like uh, login logic security related logics all those logics we can separate from our business logic that separation we can do by using this aspect oriented programming so the main use of going with aop is use it to separate use it to separate business logic business logic with cross cutting cross cutting logics like login security related right then in this aspect oriented programming we will be trying to understand about aop introduction aspect oriented programming in introduction then we will understand the meaning of proxy design pattern proxy design pattern then we'll understand about aspect the meaning of aspect the meaning of target the meaning of weaving the meaning of weaving the meaning of joint point the meaning of point cut just terminologies more of terminologies over here then before advice before advice then after advice then after returning advice after returning advice then around advice then throws advice right it's a very very important model spring op module then once we complete the spring aop module one more very very important model this is mainly for persistence purpose that is spring dao module in this we go with the spring jdbc module so when we are having jdbc concepts when you are having jdbc so what is the advantage of going with the spring jdbc model that we are going to discuss so initially we discuss what are the steps present in plain jdbc then what steps we are going to do in this spring jdbc a lot of burden to the developers are going to reduce in this spring jdbc module so what is this dao is like dao stands for data access object DAO stands for what? Data access object. And what is this DAO can be? DAO is an interface. It can be an interface or class with set of methods, which comes with what? Set of methods used to operate a database. It's mainly to operate your database. Then in this, we'll be learning about, we'll be learning about Spring JDBC introduction. Spring JDBC introduction, then we go with uh, the meaning of data source. Then we understand about JDBC template class. So by using JDBC template only, we manage this Spring JDBC module. Then we understand about named parameter, named parameter JDBC template. Then we go with the simple jdbc call so the main use of this going with simple jdbc call is to call functions or procedures to call functions or procedures then we'll go with simple jdbc insert then we'll be learning some of the important annotations 
annotations in Spring JDBC. Right? Then, once we complete this JDBC module, we'll go with one more and very, very important module that is Spring Web MVC module. Spring Web MVC module. The need of going with this MVC module is use it to develop, use it to develop server side dynamic web applications. So by using this Spring MVC web model, we'll be developing what type of application server side dynamic web applications. And in this, we'll understand about MVC introduction. First of all, we'll be understanding what is this MVC, what is the need of going with this MVC. Okay, and what is this MVC design pattern? MVC introduction. So the meaning of MVC is like model view controller. The meaning of MVC is what model view controller. So we'll understand the need of going with this MVC architecture. Then we'll understand about front end, print controller, print controller design pattern. The need of going with Sprint controller design pattern, then Spring Web MVC architecture. We'll understand about Spring Web MVC architecture, how it works. Then we'll go with Dispatcher Servlate. So this Dispatcher Servlate we call it as Front End Controller in Spring MVC. Then we'll understand about Handler Mapping, Handler Mapper. Then we understand about controller. We understand about a view resolver. View resolver. Then the meaning of view. Then intercepted. Intercepted. And we'll develop crude applications. Crude application using Spring MVC. Using Spring MVC. Even we discuss uh, login application. Login application using Spring MVC. So we develop complete crude application, application also using Spring MVC. Right? So these are the contents we'll be doing in Spring MVC model. Then the next and one more very, very important model is Spring ORM module. Spring ORM module. Here in this case, will be integrating with Hibernate. We'll be integrating with what here? Hibernate. So what is this ORM is? ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. So we can, we create a class. Once we create a class, we create object of our class. So the object we want to insert into a database table. So table means a relation. So we are communicating object and relation that is the reason the name has come object relational mapping. So to understand this model, the prerequisite is Hibernate. You should have a basic idea on Hibernate, right? So we'll understand about ORM introduction, the need of going with ORM introduction. So I'll be recapping Hibernate over here in this place, a small recap I'll be doing when we write the code. Then the meaning of entity, the meaning of mapping class, Mapping Java class with database table. Then we'll understand about Hibernate template. So by using Hibernate template only, we go with the Spring ORM module. So to integrate Spring and Hibernate, we use this class. Then uh, we'll be understanding about using annotations in Spring ORM module. Then we develop complete developing a crude application developing a crude application using spring orm module and even when we go with this spring jdbc module also here also we'll develop the complete crude application developing a crude application using spring jdbc module so this also will be developing so all the places will be seeing the crude applications in Spring JDBC, we will discuss. Spring Web MVC, we will discuss. Spring ORM module also, we are going to discuss. Right? So, these are the modules which I want to discuss in Spring Framework. In this Spring Framework. 
and our concentration will be more on spring boot module. So in order to enter into spring boot module, if you are having idea on these modules, understanding spring boot module will be easy for us. And once we go with spring boot module, we'll understand how to develop a spring boot application, the need of going with spring boot application, what is spring starters, then how to go with the spring web MVC using spring boot. We'll even learn uh, spring rest module even we go with the spring rest mod uh, sorry spring security all the things we'll be discussing once again using spring boot so that elaboration i'll be doing more when we start off with spring boot module what contents we discuss in spring boot that also i'll be elaborating when we go with spring boot module once we complete all these modules right so in tomorrow's video i'll start off with the spring introduction i'll go with spring introduction the need of going with Spring framework. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you all.